Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam from MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're doing something pretty cool, very excited. We are going to be rooting our Nexus 7 tablet. So stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so first thing you need to do to get ready to root your device is you need to go into settings here and all the way down to developers options and if it's not enabled the developers options just click right up here at the top right but then we need to enable USB debugging which is this one right here you just want to click make sure it's checked USB debugging is turned on and then plug it into your computer and set it aside. Now we're going to be using this toolkit, the Nexus 7 Root Toolkit. It's provided to us by Wug Fresh, so big thanks to him for doing that. And this toolkit that he has made for us is just going to make it so easy to root your Nexus 7. Basically, one or two clicks and you're done. So we need to turn it on here. And there it is. Now let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing here. Now, when you first launch this for the first time, you will be prompted to enter in what device you have and the model. Uh, this works for all the Nexus devices, phones, tablets, everything. So you want to go through the list and find um, Nexus 7 tablet down at the bottom. And this is the version that I have, uh, Android 4.1.1 JR003D. Now if for some reason you made a mistake, picked the wrong one, you can change it right there, no problem. So this is going to unlock our device as well as root it. If your device is brand new, like mine is, we need to unlock it. Uh, if it is not, or excuse me, if it already is unlocked, you can just go ahead and root it. Unlocking the device will completely wipe all the information on your device as far as personal information, music, videos, pictures, uh, all that stuff. Your Wi-Fi settings, everything will get wiped. So if you have any of that stuff on there that you're uh, interested in keeping, you want to back it up first. So like I said, mine is brand new. I don't need to back up anything, so we're just gonna go ahead and unlock. Now we get this little warning. Press OK if you're ready to continue, and we are. Rebooting your device into bootloader, which it's doing. Checking fast boot status. So now it says uh, on your device you should see a message asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. And you can choose yes or no using the volume up and down key to select yes or no and using the power button to select. And we want to select yes. Rebooting your device, which it just did. So it says that the phone, the device is rebooting now. You need to let it completely reboot. And this just unlocked the device so that now we're ready to root. So let it completely reboot and go through the setup settings or just skip them, whatever you want to do. Then we need to go back in and re-enable USB debugging, and then we can go on to the root, the rooting process. So now we just have to wait. Okay, so to start the process, we just click root. Now it's saying that this process will root your device. Rooting is used for flashing custom ROMs and recoveries. So we just read through that real quick, basically explaining what we're doing, and we click yes. Now it's going to check our uh, drivers and all that again. 
or rebooting into bootloader mode. Just basically sit back and let it do its thing. Waiting for your device to finish booting back up and that's what it's doing. Pushing root files to your device. Rebooting your device into bootloader mode. And it is rooting. Okay, it's booting back up. Waiting for your device to boot. Still booting. Oh, there we go. All right, so it says you are successfully rooted. Uh, to test it out, we need to go in to Super User and it will prompt us to update the binaries. And then we also need to go into BusyBox and install. We should get prompted for Super User access when we do that. So let's do that now. There's our super user app. That's asking us to update, yes. And we are updating. Installation success. All right. Let's go up to BusyBox, which is up here. And wait for it to load and we should get prompted by super user. There it is. So there you go guys, fully rooted and easy, one click. Alright, so we're installing BusyBox. There you go guys, I hope that helps. Uh, big thanks once again to Wug Fresh for coming up with this super easy way to root our device. And big thanks to you for checking out this video, I hope it helped. Come by and see us, mobiletechvideos.com, your complete source for all your device needs. And you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll see you next time.